A dash better dash way dash two dash turkey dash cook dash that dash bird dash sue me sue dash b dash four dash the dash best dash beast dash ever geek dash io dot net you are listening to a podcast of the geek io media network for all of our shows and more visit geek dash io dot net and to help support the network head over to patreon.com slash geek io hello gentle listener while geek io holds its talent to the highest standards what follows will likely involve the sort of language usually reserved for sailors on leave. If you're of a delicate disposition, then perhaps you would consider a different podcast. Hello and welcome to the Geek I.O. Show. We hope you enjoy this presentation and from all of us to all of you, we sincerely hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a totally kick-ass New Year. Yes, indeed! Oh, that hurts. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Geek I.O. Show, episode number 224, your podcaster playground. I, of course, am your host, CJ, dealing with cold and crap boat. Oh, yes, it's the 14th of December, 2017, you guys. Hmm. I'm Raul. I'm out of coffee because my first coffee got spilled all over my desk. I'm hashtag Rip Dale Campbell. But you're not ripped you're I'm, just, I'm not ripped no that's a very good point and, and i'm rachel who survived semester two and i i somehow got a 95 in my school law class so whoop whoop all the time that i've been off here and dealing with my amazing students and if you can't tell that sarcasm i'm sorry but my amazing students at school i, I don't know how i've managed to get my sanity but i'm back for at least a couple weeks <laughs> yay well done. Yay, Rachel. Kicking ass. <laughs> and so now weird. I'm Christmas shopping and playing with hot glue guns. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> That's always fun. And I finally broke down and took my anxiety med because it's been a shit-tastic week. And I'm drinking hot cocoa. So I'm just all sorts of everywhere today. It could be fun. No, I thought you were going to start bringing up the uh, penis coladas that we were talking about in the pre-show. size bag of penis colada shots. Yes. So, pretty much, Rachel you, you is Dory. Do you think they would get fired if I put them in my students' grab bags for Christmas? Ooh, yeah, I suppose you could make a virgin colada, Ooh, a virgin no, penis. Colada. I know. I will put one in the Christmas card for the woman that is the reason my favorite associate just left my classroom, because she really needs some dick. Oh. But I'm not bitter. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, talking about school, Rachel. Um, oh, I'll say this God, on, on, on the stream. Say I, uh, I thought you were going to go somewhere else. I, I got tripped up by a fourth grader. You got Ooh. owned by a fourth grader? Seriously, dude? He was sitting right in front of the door. I walked out. I didn't look down. Boom. Completely took my feet out from under me. Couldn't even catch myself. And just right and there. And nobody on... got it on video. Nope. No. <sighs> <sighs> uh, well, well that... one person here in, in this uh, podcast has seen me fall down. Yes. Oh, I have. Um, I haven't mentioned Raul, that. CJ and I were quite there when you fell off the end of the bed drunk off your ass during the contender. I'm pretty sure we videoed that. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, oh, one person oh, yeah, on that's this... Right. That's one right. Person... Sorry, one person on this podcast has seen Raul fall over Sober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the way to get the badge, I fell right in the middle of the sidewalk, right in so front of Dale. I tried. First time meeting Dale, and I fall right in front of him. You should Look, Dale, you've got straight men tripping over you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey. So what are we doing this time, CJ? So, we have a show. It's time for that time for me to play the bumper. This bumper, right? Oh, birthday! That no, bumper? no. That bumper right there? No. That one? This one? Science. This one?
we need to one. take the soundboard away from CJ. Anime Attack of Show. This one. Good evening. CJ. No. Anime Attack of Show. You may have heard this word. This one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's the one. That one. So the stream might be funny because every time someone turns off their camera, it switches places. <laughs> So now I have. Well, actually, it's perfect because now Dale is on the top, and then CJ is right below him. Uh. How this goes at all? That's not how this goes. But mine on mine is me, then Raul, then CJ, then Dale. I'm okay with this. That's about more right. That's 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 about accurate. All right, so we. Oh, sorry. What? Are we are we still talking about arrangements of the stream? Which is my new, which is my new uh, album coming out soon. Arrangements on the stream. Nope, I think we're. What am I listening to? Music right. like I play every December. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. We play every December, and it ties in really well because we have a game today. Um, I, I had a completely different game plan for today's episode. Uh, but I was at work oh, the other day, and I, ooh, I thought to myself, Christmas music is everywhere this time of year, right? Oh, yeah. What? I don't know. I can't hear you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sometimes it starts in, in uh, freaking September, October. Gosh, yeah. And, of course... This is the internet, so there there are some weird and wacky things out there. So, you know, why not mash the two? So we got a game here today. Uh, we got a real or fake game again. I know it's a well that I'm dipping into quite a bit lately, but uh, I'm going to read you a, a, a title of a Christmas album. These are entire albums. Uh, their release date, if they have one. There's one in here that doesn't. And... You're going to tell me whether that Christmas album is real or fake. Oh. <laughs> okay. CJ. <laughs> yep. There's some weird and, weird and weird things out there. So, yep. Our title, the release date, the description, and you're going to tell me whether it's real or fake. And there's a lot. <laughs> so we might as well get started. Uh, CJ, we're going to start with you. Bring it on. It's a Waffle House Christmas. Released in 2001. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think CJ um, has this album. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Waffle House? That's just disgusting. <laughs> uh, spending Christmas at the Waffle House sounds like fun, doesn't it? No. In fact, it's not. <laughs> It certainly was in 2001 when the Waffle House released this album. In addition to the traditional classics we all know and love, this CD features the smash hit, The 12 Waffle House Days of Christmas. Oh, sorry, The Waffle House 12 Days of Christmas, in which a random couple sings about their favourite things to order, like 10 cups of coffee, 8 chicken sandwiches, 7 T-bone steaks, 4 eggs of frying, three sausage patties, two waffles baking, and a bowl of delicious hot grits without a single drop of irony. I'm going to say false because they would have their stupid lipped, dipped, scrambled, flipped, full Monty bullshit in there somewhere. Okay, someone add that as the show title because I just can't remember all of that. <laughs> I know this thing exists. Rachel, you know this thing exists? It, it, it's a real fucking CD and it's disturbing and frightening and wrong and I don't know why I know this. Don't ask. I don't want to relive it. <laughs> Just trust me. It fucking exists. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Rel? I believe it exists. You believe it exists? Wow. Well, it looks like Rachel has PTSD right now. She's <laughs> rocking back and forth in her chair. CJ, your answer of fake is... It's real. Can't hear you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, bad man stuff. <laughs> Play tries. All right, yep. Yeah. It's a Waffle House Christmas is a real thing. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, CJ. I shouldn't know that it exists, but I do. <laughs> All right. Question two. Rachel, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. A Cult 45 Christmas. Released October 17th, 2006. You know the man who wanted us to get high? Well, the Grammy-nominated Afro man got a Christmas album of his own. But of course he put his own spin on it with songs named Deck My Balls and other titles we shouldn't repeat. Plus the old classic that we all know and love called The O Chronic Tree. O chronic tree, O chronic tree, all you want, <laughs> I want from you is me. I'm going to say yes, that it, it disturbingly exists because Afro Man, yes. Uh, Rachel, you're a bit quiet. So you said real on that one? I I'm going to say it's real because it, it, it's Afro Man and he's that messed up in the head. So sure, we're going to go with yes. You're going to go with yes on that one? Uh, Ralph? Yeah, I, I, I think it's. It's real. It, it's got to be. All right. CJ? Uh, I'm going to say no. i say no. All right. CJ going against the panel. Uh oh. Ral and yeah. Rachel, your answer of real is. Da, 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 da. It is correct. It's yeah. that jazz? That is jazz. Yeah. We've had that sound effect forever. <laughs> no, I just found it in this last week. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd include it. What's it named? Final Fantasy VII Jazz? Uh, it's just called Victory Music in my, where I've got it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Yeah, that is a real album. And that album... Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of hip hop, but that was a bit of a struggle. I listened to all of these Christmas albums, by the way. Oh, we have oh these are amazing. So, are are you, like, have have you been humming Waffle House? <laughs> Why didn't no. you clip out like thirty seconds of each of them? Because that would um, that would take work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work anyway. Oh. <laughs> Settle down. I'm settled. What are you talking about? Settle down. All right. Question three. We're going to start with Ral on this one. It's Xmas, bitch. Released November 14th, 2000. This album, which is Britney Spears' first full length Christmas themed album by Jive Records. Half of the album was recorded in Stockholm, Sweden, with producers Max Martin, Dennis Pop, and Ryby Jokorb, among others. And the other half was recorded in her sublet apartment in New York. In addition to her original, My Only Wish, in parentheses, this year, this album features her unique take on Christmas classics. Is that real or fake? I think that's fake because i don't think she could have gotten away with calling a album uh having bitch in the album i, I, I think she hadn't gone crazy Heavy enough yet <laughs> I, it's I, what year was it uh 2000 oh is it my turn no it is your it, turn. It, oh yes it's yeah it's fake because she didn't go she didn't start doing it. it's britney bitch until like 2008 9 all right, Rachel. I'm gonna go against the grain and say it's real. All right, Rachel, your answer of real is 
I made that up. Though part of that summary is from an act is actually from Gwen Stefani's new Christmas album that she released this year. Oh, so no, you're about. using real information, but uh, I'm I'm switching things up. And Britney Spears did release uh, the the first part of that was from was influenced by the description for uh, Gwen Stefani. She did release a Christmas song around that time called "My Only Wish." In yeah. Yeah. I was I I was in high school at that time, and that was a big fucking deal. And I was kind of a teenage boy obsessed with this girl, so you know. And that was I have when no idea what you here, mean, sir. CJ. Wink, wink, yeah, nudge, nudge. Bro was there with me. He understands. <laughs> I was like two, so there you go. Quiet. Okay. So Dale's up next. Dale's up next. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. Who's who's the who's the teenage boy that I'm gonna be obsessing over in in high school when I get there? Is that, is that what we're going for? You were in high school in what? You're 23 now. I'm 24 now, but thank you. I was fucking close. <laughs> So let's see here. Ten years ago, when you entered in high school, assuming that Australians do the same ages that we do for schools. Um, let's see. Ten years ago, who the hell was a popular? I mean, oh, just, seven. Jumber, Justin Timberlake was still doing his single thing back then. So JT. Um, I was like right in the lull of between like boy bands and this weird resurgence of boy bands that we have now. So, yeah, like I can't think of anybody back then. No. And again, that was yeah. when, that was at a point where Rachel and I were not listening to a lot of terrestrial radio pop music anyway. So, yeah, the only one I could think of at the time would be Justin Timberlake. And he's still around, and he's still attractive. Actually, so that I mean, count. some of his music. It's I actually enjoy some of his stuff. I enjoy most of his stuff. Yeah. Except for that Trolls song. Uh, I have kids, so I have no f- choice but to enjoy that song. At this point, I'm <laughs> with Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> oh. So about what? 30-40% of parenting is Stockholm Syndrome? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit mean. More right. like 90, but that's okay. 30, yeah. All right. Question four. CJ, we're going to start with you. Bring it on. The title is Christmas with Colonel Sanders <laughs> from 1969. Oh. Come on, you faithful. <laughs> Come on, you faithful to Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> or something. This awesome album cover shows the Colonel himself smiling and wearing a Santa's hat to make him more look more like Santa Claus? Like that could even be possible. The album features musical legends Cheat Atkinson covering Jingle Bell Rock and Harry, not Harry, Harry Belafonte singing Mary's Little Boy Child. And as a Christmas miracle, this album has nothing to do with the finger licking chicken found at the fast food restaurant. Yeah, I'll say it's true. It seems far fetched enough for 1969. All right, Rachel. Uh, God, sixty-nine. <laughs> Weird shit was going on in nineteen sixty-nine. I mean, my mother got married in sixty-nine, so that should say something. So you know what? Fuck it. Yes, it probably did exist. All right, Ralph. No, I don't think it existed. Well, <clears throat> boats. Your answer of real is da, 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 da. correct. I said really weird shit. <laughs> it was happening in 1969, and th- literally, the, the Colonel doesn't even show up once on this album. Like not even, not even once. Well, this and, was that would have been before like the big major corporations were doing that shit. So, like, I can imagine that it was just, hey, we're just gonna sell this cover album, and that was this a- is 
that. Yeah. This is the second one that the Colonel did. He did one the year previous in 1968 called A Christmas Eve with the Colonel. Yeah. I finished my research. The day, so, the, in 1970, it was the day after Christmas with the Colonel yeah. where it was just everybody complaining that they didn't get what they wanted and and returning it. And there was a song on there called Boxing Day because they had to appeal to an international audience. Exactly. All right. Uh, question five is going to Rachel. The most wonderful time of the year released on October 24th, 2011. The late Stone Temple Pilots frontman, Scott Wheeland, released this bizarre album and it was indeed festive. I still haven't figured out why, for some reason, he did an, a reggae and steel drum infused Oh Holy Night and attempts to croon throughout the rest of the record. Listening to the songs, you wouldn't have known that he was a former grunge performer. Is this real or fake? Fake. Fake? Well? What's the name of the album? It is the most wonderful time of the year. Most wonderful time of the year. Uh, it's the most. No, no. I'll, I'll call it fake. <laughs> uh, CJ. Um, you know. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go for it. It was real. Stone Temple Pilots is real weird sometimes. CJ, your answer of real is where's the button? There's a button da, 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 da. That was a real album. He was on his way out at the time and was probably doing a lot of drugs. Literally on his way out. So uh, he was just kind of just doing whatever the hell he felt like. I mean, do we want to play a little uh, sampler from Oh Holy Night if it'll come up? Oh, this one you pulled up. This one you did. <laughs> uh, if if it'll come up. I, I'm waiting for it to load, so it might not, it might not come up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I... And, yeah, it, it's... This whole album is... It's like... Really, like... Rod Stewart Literally level. Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, here we go. Here, here, here's what it is. They have this album, Rachel. I think it is in one of my CD books. What, would you like me to go in the closet back there and check? <laughs> No, I don't. We can, I don't we've got. We've, much, I'm fairly sure. With, I'm fairly sure I have this album. We've we've got 15 more seconds. If you can do it in 15 seconds. Not fast. What? Oh, um. He was doing <laughs> a lot of drugs. He was doing a lot of a lot of drugs at the time. Again, he was literally on his way out. Like he died not soon after this. Like uh, the next day, in fact. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the funny thing is, the next day he got fired. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, he, he he quit life the next day. All right, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't come to work today. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'll see you Monday. I'm I'll sorry. see you on I'm Monday. Dead. I literally can't come to work. I literally. Today. I can't drag I my literally just can't anyway. come to work right now. Like, I'm so dead. Like, oh, my God. Like, I just can't do it. Why does Dell do? I'm calling off dead, everybody. I'm sorry I won't be here the day before Christmas, but I'm calling off dead. Oh. Why does Dell have do such that. a good valley girl? Ah, hmm. I oh, wonder. Oh, my God. Dell, uh, we need to have look, a talk. Look at my accent. It's so bad. <laughs> like, totally. Oh, my God. Like, oh my god. I wanna I wanna hear Raoul. Everyone's done their Valley Girl. I wanna hear Raoul's Valley Girl now. Right. I don't do accents. I'm like no. Oh my god. <laughs> OMG. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's my closest that's my millennial girl. 
That's your millennial girl. Well, apparently, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, look at her butt. Look She's at her like butt. Those rap guys, girlfriends, asses. Oh my god, Karen. Do you notice on all of those shows, like, they've got a wacky girlfriend called Karen? Lisa, you're telling me apart. <laughs> you're telling oh me apart, god. Lisa. <laughs> like, oh my we god, I did that redo the, We need to okay. redo the room oh in Valley Girl accent for all the characters. <laughs> Oh my god, Lisa, why are you tearing him apart? The, the oh, hi, Mark! The, oh, the, hi, test Mark. Came back, the test results came back, and I totally have breast cancer. I totally death has breast cancer. Who is so nonchalant about cancer? <laughs> and it never comes up again! Alright, we're, we're going, we're going, let's get this. Before we no, do a we've pic- completely derailed. Before we do yeah. a random review of uh, the uh, the disaster artist. In a in a valley girl voice. <laughs> All right. Uh, who am I starting on this one? I think I'm starting uh, with Rao on this one. Yes, I think. Yeah. Uh, question six. Uh, the album name is Christmas on Death Row. Ice tea. Released. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> but I go ahead. No, no. I released October 9th, 2007. The music isn't the worrisome thing about this album. It's the album cover itself, depicting Santa that is of a particular color in an electric chair. Warning, do not show it to your grandma or your kids. Songs include hits like Snoop Dogg and Snoop and Nate Dogg's Santa Claus gonna uh, go straight to the ghetto and six feet deep's cover of silent night if you like your holiday tunes filled with curse words this one is for you sorry i stumbled up the description i think that is real you think that's real cj when did you say this was released uh october 9th 2007 uh i'm gonna go no on this one all right, Rachel. I'm going to agree with Raul. It it probably exists. CJ, your answer of fake is incorrect. It is real. So say it. What? They <laughs> just said. So say it. We got, we got an album for you. Um, well, this one's this one's uh, loaded. So, do you want to do the uh, Santa Claus goes straight to the ghetto? Sure. Now to block, but be careful for the heart because it's posted. Some say to this day that Christmas ain't nothing but another day. But out of respect, I gotta give the Lord's day. Tell me, tell me, where do the homeless and bums got to sleep? No way. Where- what? Hang on. <laughs> they trying to add a, like a freaking um. Weird ass, like, be a good person flow in there, which is yeah. But wasn't that last lyric though? Wasn't it like buns gonna get your day or something? <laughs> That's what where, I heard. Where do, no, where the bums gonna sleep? Where the bums oh. and the homeless gonna sleep? And then Nate Dog goes nowhere. No, <laughs> That's what Nate Dog does every little bit of the, every little bit of hip hop that I listen to Nate Dog do is just him just bur- he's like he is a uh, freaking uh, what's his face? Uh, okay, that dude. Um, Lil John. Lil John Light. Done. Uh, well, we've Night Dog appears twice on this album. It appears again on a cover of "Be Thankful," or, or an original song called "Be Thankful." Oh, get a little oh, wow. saucy on this. Yeah, like early 90s. Holy crap. In 2007? Yeah, 2007. It's Geekio Radio, 90s throwback. All right. All right. <laughs> Next up. Uh, we're going to go start with CJ on this one. Oh. A Rosy Christmas. Released February 5th, 2008. 
This album, not even released in what would be considered the holiday period, was just an excuse for then daytime talk show host Rosie O'Donnell to brag about how she was buddies with Celine Dion, Elton John, and Elmo. Which one of these is not like the other? Uh, then singing middling duets with them. Cher contributes a dance electro version of uh, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home, in parentheses. While Gloria ooh, Esfayan and Rosie sing, oh, okay, are going to eat for Christmas, and Lauren Hill's funky little drummer boy seems to be oh, the wait, only thing. For Christmas? What? what yeah, gonna someone's going to get. This is the, yeah, Christmas, this is the Christmas. Christmas. Christmas like 2.0. <laughs> oh. Somebody's going to get here for Christmas. This year. Man. Nothing but bad. I'm gonna eat yo yo Christmas coming at you. Um, this sounds stupid enough to exist, so yeah. Oh no no, I didn't I didn't finish the punchline. Oh okay. Uh, Lawrence Hill's funky little drummer boy seems to be the only saving grace until Rosie crashes in and ruins it all. Like she does. No, <laughs> she does. So you're gonna say this is real? It sounds stupid enough to exist. All right, uh, Rachel. It really kind of does. <laughs> All right, Ralph. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Rosie to to do something like this. I'm All right, she dragged Gloria into it. Yeah, I know. Uh, everyone, your answers of real are. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? <laughs> like, <laughs> stupid. I don't know if we should be proud of that, guys. Yeah, about that dot com. Uh, so do we do we want to do we want to funk it up a little bit? You know, and I asked you to do it, so and you're providing. So am I? Am I really providing? I mean, you're doing what I asked you to do. So <laughs> so yes. A newborn king to see. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think this actually has Rosie O'Donnell on it, but I like this. That's Lauren Hill. Like, she's fantastic. I love Lauren Hill. Yeah. Uh, we've also got Darren Hayes uh, on this album from Savage Garden. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> oh, did she just, like, put an album together of just, like, famous people? Mm hmm. This might be my favorite song ever. Sounds like an early 90s Nokia ringtone. It does. Yes! I mean, what is it? What? You can hear the 90s trying to shake off the 80s in that song. God, yeah. But like, they that still have great. the shoulder pads. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a couple more here. All right. Uh, which one did I just do? All right. Question eight. We're going to start with Rachel on this one. Rockin' Around the Disco Ball. Released October 17th, 1979. Sounds about right. <laughs> Get the holiday festivities started with some dancing as these saxophone enriched Christmas favorites are sure to keep you moving all day long. It exists. Da, 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 da. Uh, it exists, you said? Yes. All right. Ralph? Well? Mm, I think it's too much on, on the nose. I don't think it exists. All right. CJ? I'm going to say it does not exist because you said saxophone. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say saxophone. Not really a disco instrument. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rachel, your answer of real is. Yeah, I made that up, but I did lift that from an actual an actual album with that same description. Yeah, but you said the word disco, so that's where it, that's where that's that was the red flag for me. 
uh, I think the original album was called Disco Noel, and it had that it had that description. Saxophone in in disco? with saxophone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's weird because <laughs> that's usually weird. your saxophone is your jazz. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying the same thing, brother. There you go. The boys are onto it, apparently. You got your right. Gloria. <laughs> Uh, we got two more here. I got your number. No. Uh, you can't call it because it costs three million dollars. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, question nine. Uh, I forgot who we're starting with here. We're going to start. I think we're starting with Raoul. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, the the name of the album is called. Bummed Out for Christmas. Oh, sorry, just Bummed Out Christmas is the name of the album. Bummed Out Christmas. Okay. Bummed Out Christmas. And the release date was February 2nd, 1989. Uh, switching between tabs. Uh, the only thing wrong with this wonderful time of the year, after all, is apparently suicides take a spike during this holiday season. So Rhino, Rhino Records thought it was be a perfect opportunity to host their unhappy hour as a prospery for throwing a new, fewer, and inferior tracks into compilations to try and make them edgy. Sadly, all it does is dilute the winner, which was Somebody Stole My Santa Claus Suit featuring Dan Hicks, leaving us with 10 ununiformingly depressing, though frequently commercial U-Tide Lendments. This album is like a lecture. Divorce, incarnation, murder, and several cases of drunk driving, and Viet Gong all around me. The weather is indeed frightful. I just want to butt in with my uh, echo. Decided to hear something activated and heard commit suicide and said, I can't do that. <laughs> Great job, Alexa. Oh, wait, did you say uh, Via Con? Uh, yes. Oh. Viet Gong. What year? 87? Um, no. 89. 89. 89. Ooh, bummed out. So they released a Christmas Christmas album in February. Mm-hmm. The Rosie O'Donnell one was in February too. Hmm. When did you release a Christmas album? Like around. I guess they I guess figured they... maybe if they released it in February, people might not try to kill themselves on Christmas. They might hold out for the hol- the other ho- the next holiday to kill yourself on. <laughs> Valentine's. Right. Valentine's. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. No, yeah, go on. I think this is real. All right. Uh, Rachel. I'm gonna go for real. Just for the. All right, CJ. Um. You're real good at writing these things. Um. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I I don't think so. I think this is a little early for the 90s. Everything is stupid and everything is dumb phase. Well, this this could have triggered that. Uh, you really think that Bummed Out Christmas, uh, a compilation album, would have set that trend? Yeah, I, I'm going to stick with that. Could have potentially that. set that trend. All right. Raul and Rachel, your answer of real is... Da, 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 da. That's very real. I don't have any audio clips from it. God, why are you bad at this? Available anywhere. However, let's do a bonus point to, to finish up, right? All right. According to Amazon.com, much and we'll do we'll do closest rules on this one 
How much do you get think everything that you possibly want to shop for by going to geek-io.net slash Amazon? Exactly. You could buy all of these Christmas albums except for the Waffle House one at geek-io.net slash Amazon. Because the Waffle House one is only available via mail order. So have fun with that. No COD. No, no, it's really, it's really not. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, CJ, how much do you think the Bummed Out Christmas is available on Amazon for? Um, I don't know, like 13 bucks. All right. Rachel? You got muted again. 12. Oh, she's thinking. Just to go less than CJ. 12. 12? MP3 or physical? Uh, it is. A, it's a physical disc, but this is not including shipping. Cool. I want to say like 50 bucks. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the boats got it wrong. <laughs> the actual answer is $71.33. Now I'm bummed out for Christmas. Thanks, Dale. Okay, wait a sec. <laughs> Jesus. Because th this is what Rachel does. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Holy no, crap. No, no. I could give you the link if you want, if that's what we're doing. Oh, you just took over my... Rachel that's broke the stream. Congratulations, Rachel. Ah, I got the... I had the second one. That's... The CD. Sorry. I got the second one. Ah, that's on there. Less than CJ. Oh, oh, breaking the stream! I, breaking I had... the stream! Rachel, fix the damn camera so we can get the stream back working. <laughs> you can't do that anymore. <laughs> what did it do? It, it broke uh, everything. It, it it took over my screen and just did all full screen. Oh, I'm sorry, Raul. I, I had the second. I had I had the second one, unfortunately. So. So, so CJ and I were both right and wrong. Yes, you were both right and wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. play the two clips at once. So there you go. Uh, I need to add up who got this one. Uh, CJ got five. All right. Uh, Rachel got two, three, four, five, six. But Raul. Excluding that last contested question, because why not? Got seven points. Wow. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, what five, I six. Say? I, I can smell points. bullshit. They, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from right. Texas. That, there is right. a lot of bullshit there. As it's it's um, it's shown there too. In fact. Yeah, it's called Cowboys Games. Because it's shown in bullshit. Hey, hey, lay off the cowboys. No. <laughs> uh, this concludes uh, Dale's Happy Fluffy Trivia Time. If you've got a game or idea, uh, please uh, do send it in, dale at geek-io.net or geekioshow at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. So, guys, we're going to head off into a quick break. Um, and now I'm going to ruin the stream even further. <laughs> we're going to head into a quick break. Uh, this week... I discovered something magical this evening, guys. Uh, Jonathan Young did a Christmas album. And he does, a, he does an amazing cover of Frosty the Snowman, of which I was confused as to why there was an explicit tag next to it. Oh, no. What? So, friends, this is going to be Jonathan Young's cover a Frosty the Snowman. Stay tuned. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul. 
Yes, indeed. That was Jonathan Young's cover of Frosty the Snowman. Nice. The thing of magic, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. So we're back. Welcome back. And it's time for us to chill down from this game a little bit and do a little bit of. Gadgets, games, and gizmos. Yes, indeed. Time to do some gadget games, gizmos. It's weird that it muted my Spotify to play that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, I want to go first. It's rare that I get to go first. Yeah, I go first. Um, so, the Surge, that robotic Soulsborne game. Uh, came out with a new DLC where you get to go to an amusement park and you kill uh, donuts and ice cream bars that shoot lasers out of their heads. And, uh, and um, God, what was that? Like a vending machine that like walks and like punches you for all of your life and kills you in one shot. Like it's crazy. I've seen you Something play that game. Like Why are you still playing that game? Uh, because they gave me the DLC to review. <laughs> Ah. And I wanted to go to the amusement park. I'm going to finish up the amusement park, and I don't know if I will ever pick up the game again. <laughs> it's fun. No, it's a fun game. It's it's a pretty bad Soulsborne, but it's it's a fun game. Um, I could see where they're trying to do good things with it, but it just kind of falls short of execution. Um, it does just kind of make me want to go back and play Bloodborne again. Like, because I want to play a game like this, but I want to play a good game like this. So, and I don't like Dark Souls 3, and I'm real bad at Dark Souls 2. So, so the hit detection just very off on it, or what? 
It is, yeah. Like you will, and, and Rachel would see me like do the slide jump thing, which is your opener for every, pretty much every combo. You're, uh, every every regular enemy in this game is slide slash uh, L two R two or no R two R two R one, and it kills pretty much everything. But sometimes you'll slide through the things, or they will turn and hit you like instantly, even though that's not how these games work, and. Like it just—it's really, really weird, and like the dice numbers are very skewed in the fa- in the favor of the enemies, which I never got that in Bloodborne. Mm. Uh, so I mean, like I said, it, it's a pretty—it's it, a fun game, but it's a bad Soulsborne game. I am really excited for Code Vein next year. Um, the uh, Banda, the Bamco, uh, Bamco Namkai. Um, uh, anime Soulsborne. I'm excited for that one. Um, other than that, I picked up this game on iOS. It's free. It's called Alchemist Code because I wanted a game like Final Fantasy Tactics, but I don't want to spend the seventeen dollars to buy to play Final Fantasy Tactics on iOS. <laughs> uh, because fuck that mess. Uh, <laughs> uh, I picked up this game. Like I said, it's free. It kind of does that like freemium thing. Um, I have spent four dollars on it to do the thirty day gem package thing because if I enjoy a game, I'll pretty much always at least like throw five bucks at the free games. If if anything, to shut them up on their ads. This one didn't do that, uh, mm-hmm. thankfully. So it only kind of does ads when you log in, and even then, it's not even real ads. It's just like, hey, buy our stuff. Um, but the the storyline is real good. The translation is really great because it's actually it's a Korean game translated into America uh, to American. Uh, the translation is really <laughs> good. It's still solid. Um, like it's actually a legitimately good game. Uh, it does, like I said, suffers from that. Hey, uh, do a ten summon monster and hope that you don't just get all um, soul gems and no actual creatures. Um, <laughs> That's the only downside of it. Other than that, like it's good. It's real good. Um, and it's on uh, Google as well. So, uh, but I mean, if you like Final Fantasy as a uh, strategy RPGs, this is definitely definitely worth a pickup. Um, been catching up on the DCWU with Rachel because all of last season stuffs on Netflix now, and uh, caught up on Flash. Um. Flash got real dumb. <laughs> oh, really? Flash got oh. real dumb towards the end. Um, apparently, this season though, they're like, "Hey guys, sorry for getting real dumb at the last at the end of the last season." <laughs> also, sorry for Justice League, but that's what they say in everything. Uh, no, this was before that. But uh, I mean, it, so other than like the the minor slip up, Flash is still real good. Um, we're currently binging Supergirl at night, so. Um, which is still just kind of Supergirl. Like, you're dealing with single young Kirkman in the city, uh, and, um, like, it, it's all right. Uh, I'm done with Arrow. Like, I watched three episodes of the new season, and I'm just like, I can't anymore. <laughs> Arrow is real bad. Aww. It never got any better. <laughs> really? Arrow was excusable five seasons ago before we had good TV on. And then... <laughs> Then CW spoiled us by giving us things like The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow and never improved Arrow. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, uh, Arrow is just a C minus Batman still, and it's just, I just can't anymore. It's too much gloom and grump and dumb. Um, gloom and glump. And dumb. My favorite thing to pick up at Walmart is a bit of gloom and glump. And dumb. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that is it. I'm trying to get to the point where I can watch Crisis on Earth X and understand what the hell's going on with things. So, um, also Rachel and I watched The Disaster Artist after my company Christmas party, which there's no real stories about the company Christmas party because everybody acted like the the adults that they are. <sighs> what? Really? I know. Got, that's got unbelievable. A, I know. I'm honestly thinking like the dramatized, like, LOL, people got drunk at Christmas parties might be dramatized because I have never been. 
Yeah, neither have I. Yeah, I've never, I've never been to a, par- a Christmas party, a company Christmas party like that. Like I've been there where uh, people kind of gotten a little tipsy and sang bad karaoke. Like that's the worst that I've been to. Well, I mean, what I some think, people do. do. Sent, sent, sent the uh, single ish, just reunited with his wife guy up for eleven blowjobs from the hot bartender, and it turned out to be the guy oh. that you asked. Nah. Yeah, when when, when that's the show. Show. When that's the talk of the Christmas party last year, like it was, it's pretty like th- this is. Uh, I walked out of there with a hundred dollars to Sephora, though. So I mean, there's that. Oh, that's yeah. something. Yeah, apparently Rachel bought me a bunch of stuff that hasn't came yet. So. Oh yes, yeah, so Sephora sent out a box the size of the small Amazon boxes. Yeah, a good size box. Mm-hmm. Like C- CJ's got an Amazon box. Well, here. It, you, you can see for my, my video listeners, they can see that I've got a you know relatively decent size. That that's my hand, so that gives you two yeah. of these, the size of one thing, and it literally sent me a lip gloss. Yeah, itty box. bitty lip gloss in that big box. So Sephora, real good in your shipping job. Great job. Um, so, but after that, we went to go see the disaster artist, and. Man, like was it a disaster? That's no, the real- no. Like there is so much love and passion and just love for the source content in that movie. Like it is obvious that these actors who are playing, you know, real people, are so enamored with the source content of the of the room and everything involving it that they put out their best performances. And like they basically created two movies with this. They created the Disaster Artist, which is a mockumentary based on a, the book written by Greg, the guy who plays Mark. Right, who randomly shaves in the middle of the room for no reason. No, Someone there's a reason. The other day. There's a reason. Um, oh, really? Yes. There, oh. there is a reason. They ex- they actually explain all the stupid shit that goes on in the room. So do you guys want, do you guys want to know what no, happens? No, 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 no. I, no. I, I, I want to watch no, it. I am letting, I am letting the guy say it eventually. I don't, I don't right. care about spoilers. So hence why I listen to well, small screen spoilers right here every second Monday. But well, I, do, I don't. So, yeah. Um, they, they do explain like the, the shaving. They explain the Peter switch. Like they explain like all of that. What about what the, the uh, do they explain the spoons? The, sp- the what? The spoons. Yeah, I know the spoons. No, that was just with Zoe and his endless amount of money just buying whatever he could and putting it up in this yeah. apparently hellscape of a set that he created. What? what I, the, that's the story I heard about that was he bought a whole bunch of uh, photo frames and he wanted to put photos of him and Lisa in there. But he ran out of time in air quotes so he just left these stock photos that were in the photo frames already and one of them just happened to be spoons i'm sure that's it because like i said he's he just got some serious issues so he's wait really is it. tommy was so in he in, in has the so, in, in the movie he makes a very brief appearance before they get into like real real footage of like actual was so and stuff like when the movie premieres and such like that um, yeah. He makes a very bit part in there. Says two things, makes fun of James Franco's accent, and walks off. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like it is. It's it's a thing of beauty, you guys. Are we sure it's not like uh, James Franco is Tommy Wiseau? Because everything I've seen of the trailers, it's like, oh my god, it's, it's him. Oh, it is un- side by side of it at the end, and though he does look. Fucking creepily like Wizzo, he's not. And yeah, it, it is obvious that Franco is not as like weird vampiric thing that Tommy Wizzo has going for him. <laughs> that, it, but so I mean, it's obvious that James Franco is an actual human and Wizzo is an android vampire. But other than that, android like vampires. it's uncanny. Like I it think is. I just yeah. came up with my next character. <laughs> an android what? vampire. And, Android vampires, their Christmas now, now album. You know, now you have a year to get that, that to get that character spun up for next time we play uh, man up. Uh, next time we play our weird goth game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We, <laughs> listen to the Halloween episode of the Man of Pool. Oh, oh yes. Oh, uh, but it's this movie is just like 
it's 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 so good like it is it's so so good and it kind of struggles with the fact that it like it's paying so much homage to this thing that is bad um but like they're trying like yeah. <laughs> the people making the disaster artists the actors playing these roles are trying and that is the difference between the room and the disaster artist but they get to they explain to the reason why that is the room is how it is and like i want to watch the room again after watching this knowing everything involved in this and i think i'm going to enjoy it even more uh, i haven't seen the disaster artist and i enjoyed the room so i'm not uh, alone i'm rachel wants to say something <laughs> sorry oh. Oh, you had your mouth. You had your mouth up to the mic, or like you were ready to. I just put a mint in my mouth. I don't uh, know if any theater will be showing the disaster artist because they're they're all showing Star Wars right now. You probably out of luck on it, uh, especially in your town. You probably want to try and find a bigger theater. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I go to San Antonio, they'll probably have it. But I might be out of luck too. there'll probably Damn. be a double feature for me because I'll probably watch. Star Wars and then Disaster Artist. So, like the uh, here, they were doing uh, filmings of the room, or they were show doing showings of the room, and then the Disaster Artist in here. But those double features sold out everywhere. Oh God, yeah, I could only imagine. Like I, I was going to surprise the uh, TBCJ and do that as an early Christmas present for Josh and Carrie, and like I'm trying. And I'm looking all the way out to freaking uh, Plant City, like this, which is an hour away from here. What? Sold out everywhere. The closest one was in damn near Orlando oh. <laughs> that had any, any tickets remaining for this. Well, I mean, you, you still could have gotten it and then go to Disney World. <laughs> it, was, it was on like a Thursday night, dude. And we don't see movies on a Thursday night. No, I'm just kidding. See movies on a Thursday night. Yeah, um, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, That's a good show title, though. Again, seeing movies on a Thursday night is fine. Jazz had it right, however, he's an hour away from home. <laughs> Jazz had it correctly, watching it, and then being off before 10 p.m. <laughs> um, but yeah, Disaster Artist, man, I don't know what Rachel's going to give it, but I want to give it like a eight and a half tito like it's a brilliant brilliant wow. Wait, what are we reviewing next week is it disaster artists or star wars star wars oh, yeah. okay <laughs> yes rachel what would you give the disaster artist on our tito scale I i'd like to remind you how many times did i turn to you and go what the fuck am i watching again why am i doing this to myself oh yeah i did that to sober up maybe okay. I mean, it, it's been a year since my surgery. Actually, today is my one year anniversary for my surgery for last year. Yeah. And uh, I, I literally just sat there looking at him going, why am I watching this again? What the fuck am I watching? CJ, why am I putting myself through this again? Oh, oh. Because alcohol. they essentially created the room again. Like, they were yeah. not the room. Almost entirely. <laughs> like, And honestly, if there wasn't enough or if there was more alcohol in my blood, I probably would have enjoyed it. But by the end of the movie, I was just sober. And it was depressing. And there wasn't enough alcohol. So I, I will say that if I had a room full of friends, I could mark it higher. But I'm going to give it a nice even keel five. Because it was a nice place to sober up. And I didn't have my children up my ass. Well, that is more generous than I thought you were going to give it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, but then again, like Dale and I, you Dale, you know me. I love trash. And <laughs> our alley. I, and I really wanted to get out to see the disaster hours before Star Wars, but I haven't you, been able to you, leave this. Yet. You and Josh and Carrie have kind of created a monster in me for with the room. Like it's up there, and like it's so good. And the memes that of the room that are just starting to come out again because of the disaster artist is just fantastic. I think, I think there is definitely going to have to be a um, boat hotel room showing since we can't do it in public because it's a public thing of the room at Dragon Con this year. <laughs> you hate me. There will be alcohol. Okay. Oh, I'm in. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm focused on the chat. I heard alcohol and you've got my attention. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. So yeah. A boathouse showing of the room. Boat hotel room of the uh, of the of the room at Dragon Con. Like and it will be a geek I watch is recorded of it. Um, it's a room inside a room. <gasps> yes. I want to try and find a way, like, I wish there was a way that I could find a way to just, like, have it showing places and not get the shit, like, like yelled at me about it. Um, because I don't really want to have my children watching a guy having sex with a belly button and or hip with a woman. Uh, <laughs> it's a tight belly button, I hear. Oh, by the way, that's a glorious scene, explaining that entire sex yeah. scene. It's amazing. <laughs> James Franco has a nice ass. Um, <laughs> is that why you gave it a nice? What was that, Rachel? He doesn't have nearly enough craters in his ass, though. No, like he, he his ass puts Wazoo's to shame, uh, but that's kind of to its detriment. Like <laughs> Wazo is like weird, has a weirdly shaped butt, and Franco's is just kind of cute. It's just, it's just, okay. Um, weirdly also, shaped. Butts was my name in high school, but apart from What's your that. name now, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the name of the episode if you go over to geekershow.show.tv. <laughs> Geek <laughs> so, uh, and also I've been playing HQ Trivia, and that's a real oh. rare. <laughs> Can we uh, do some hot takes on HQ Trivia? <laughs> sure. Because, uh, Dale, you have it in here. You've been playing it, too. Yes. I am so bad. It's a on. fascinating thing. Like, I've won $2. Uh, <laughs> You've won $15, you'd say. I won $2. <laughs> oh, you won $2. Uh, <laughs> but it, basically, it's a live trivia show on your phone. And you can win real, legit money off of it. Like, Yeah, they, 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 like, real money into, into, um, into your account of choice. How yeah. much well, do you have to put I into it? Less. None. It's a free oh. app. Yeah. It's a free, free app on iOS. Hmm. And, and it's like it's it's fun. Like it's it's hard trivia though. Like it it has a real big ramp up, and they tr they play tricksy with the words of their trivia. Like like oh. a does. There was I I just started playing it like in the last week, and some of the questions. Like okay, um, a little right. bit. One of Wait. one was a all right. It's this one was a three choice. All right, which it's of the, the which of the following animals is not a source of ivory? Oh no, this is another one. Elephant, rhino, or elk. <laughs> which of those is not a source of ivory? And you also get ten seconds to answer yeah. these questions, which is included in them reading out the question. So, 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 come on. Which is which is the which of those animals is not a source of ivory? Uh, you said elephant. Uh, what else? Rhino. Elephant, rhino, elk. Elk. Rachel. A rhino. Oh, sorry. Elephant. Dale. I'm gonna say rhino. Dale, who probably was on when that answer was played, is correct. I was it. <laughs> If it's an afternoon game, I don't on those afternoon uh, games. A rhino's, a rhino's horn is not ivory at all. Elk's teeth are made of ivory. And ebony, ironically. <laughs> Living together in harmony. In and harmony. What have you been doing? <laughs> uh, so I, I've been playing HQ Trivia as well, um, which is it's funny because it's guest show host week, so you don't know who's going to come on and... Right. <laughs> so there's this dude who just looks like an average Joe American who is somehow locked into what I would imagine is a two dollar contract to host all of these shows. So he's been given the week off, and these these quizzes happen like twice daily too. At the most inconvenient times, right? At like six a.m. and twelve noon, it's real weird. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm in the middle of working on something. It's like, hey, HQ Trivia is like, fuck. <laughs> so didn't they have what? like a huge controversy? Like they didn't like one of their main dudes, like giving interviews out without their permission. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason that I heard about this app. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Research. 
Uh, I don't know, but yeah, he that guy must be rolling in something at least to to be hosting these twice a day, right? Normally, right. or um, getting paid hardly at all, which probably. Yeah. I don't know, man. You get like five hundred thousand people on this thing at once. Like it's crazy. It really, it's really the hot new thing at the moment, and and the the prize pool, which is normally fifteen hundred dollars, get split between all of the winners. So, yeah, like the reason why I won two dollars. <laughs> like yesterday's, like one of yesterday's quizzes only had one winner, so the whole dude got the fifteen hundred dollars. The whole dude. <laughs> The whole dude got fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Not half the dude. The whole dude. And and if it doesn't go off at all, it jackpots to the next day, and then they have these special quizzes and their general like their general knowledge questions. Sometimes they threw a really weird video game one in the other day, which I was like, ooh, I don't know what this is at all. I missed that one. Yeah, I heard about it, but I'm like, hey, I could have actually probably gun some stuff on that one. <laughs> I think I've got my best streak yet is like three or four correct in a row. Yeah, like that one has the only been the only one that I've got done any kind of decent on. Like Wait, by the way, got- I got that I got that elk one wrong too. I because I was like, man, the rhinos have to be it. Nope. <laughs> their horns are not made of ivory. The if one I- thing I don't I know that I wasn't on that quiz for. If I remember you. correctly, I think it's just coming back to me. Um, rhino horns are kind of like fingernails, I guess. The same stuff fingernails are made out of. What are fingernails made of? I thought they just appeared on the twelfth day of on the eleventh day of Christmas or whatever God was calling it when he was making things. <laughs> nice call that. fingernails. <laughs> nice call back, Dale. Oh, oh, wow! Ouch! That one hurt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Row.exe has stopped working. <laughs> has crashed. Needs admin access. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's, that's a callback to two other people on this call. Understand, right? Um, but apart from me sucking at trivia because that's a fun thing to do. Hashtag hashtag Ripdale. Uh, I got a new desk. Yay! And it is amazing. I love it. It's it's spacious. It's wooden. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it's an important selling part. <laughs> it's got four legs. I just snorted. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's wooden. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a really nice finish on it, and it's it's about a it's a repurposed table. So I repurposed it myself over about like three weeks, and sanded the whole thing back because some person some awful person somewhere thought it was a great idea to cover it in this like yucky off maroon color for some reason when it's got like gorgeous like wood on it but apart from that uh, i've been upgrading a bit of the hardware here uh, at hq because you know, I, I just need nice things in my life so i got a new microphone you can see, and it's got like a little fluff. It's got a ball on it, like Rachel's, but mine's and CJ's, but mine's. What color is that? Black. My my, my ball, ball is black. What's your point? I'm squeezing my ball, uh, and I've also got a new camera, uh, the Logitech uh, C something 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 numbers. C nine twenty two X. That's the one. Thank you. Glad other people know what hardware I have, and I don't. It's uh, the industry standard, which Raul was like, "No, I'm too good for this now." <laughs> what you only seen me at like 30 frames now you gotta oh. see me at 60 yeah that's important <laughs> <laughs> that's important hey, this is just me poking at Raul oh and now I just got fluffy stuff on my thing All right. why would anyone cool. paint over that finish I know I know it's it's a criminal thing I, I suppose that's that was a color that was existed like forty years ago, I suppose, and that was a hot new thing. I don't know. You you don't have a before after. I don't have a before. I don't think I have a before. I have an after, but I don't have a before. Yeah. You should have done a time lapse of it and label it like Dale plays with his wood or something. <laughs> I don't need a table for that video anyway. 
Uh, the, also, there's a big difference. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I was on the App Store the other day, uh, just randomly, moving off that topic, uh, randomly, and I saw this cute little game that was the app of the day called Calculator the Game. And it is not what I thought it was. What I thought it was advertised as was you were a calculator and you were like, it was like a platform mario style game but you're a calculator collecting numbers i don't know why i thought it was that fuck uh, but it is it's this game where you kind of basically you control a calculator to you have a certain amount of steps to get to a certain number and you have to use a set amount of numbers so say for example if the goal is uh 20 and you have five steps and it's like God, now I'm going to have to do live mental maths on the show. Uh, like two, two uh, plus two plus two times five, for example. That's three steps. But you know what I mean. Like it's that you have to use mental maths to f- figure out a particular goal with a set amount of steps. And it's, it's fascinating uh, because I suck at mental maths and need a calculator for everything. So I'm hoping that this improves that a little bit. Okay. So it's, it's a calculator game and it's a cute little design, little like character that's a little calculator that does little happy faces when you get things right and little sad faces and when you get things wrong. And when you accidentally divide things uh, into a decimal, it says error and the little calculator figure like has like angry eyes. Oh. I know. Oh, it's an adorable little game. So that's calculated the game. So, uh, but apart from that, I haven't been up to much because it's Christmas time. I work in retail, jingle all the way. Uh, speaking of which, we're, we're jingling all the way to Rachel. Rachel, what have you been up to? Um, yeah, hi, work sucks. We, we've got two weeks until winter break. However, <laughs> in true Rachel form the last two years, last year I took off the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before Christmas break for my surgery. Um, this year I'm taking a half day on the Thursday. And I'm taking off on the Friday. <laughs> um, nice. For the same reason. Um, sort of. I. Some people know, but some people don't. Um, I, I've been dealing with some medical stuff, and I have to go for IV iron infusions because my blood levels and iron levels are both, um, yeah, not where they're supposed to be. So, and in the mighty words of my doctors, you, white girl, are really white. <laughs> Um, I don't have enough iron in my system, nor do I have enough iron in my system, so I have to go for IV iron infusions. So next Thursday, I will be getting pumped full of a bag full of... Pumped! Hurry up! Yes. Uh, Rachel's pumping iron iron into her system. Um, And Saturday, there is a surgery, but it's not for me. Our son is going in for tubes in his ears, so... Fun times! Mm -hmm. No, it, it's sucks. a good thing. Um, Kiara, being Kiara, decided to get mouthy. Like, mommy and daddy making you have surgery before Christmas, like two days. So Aaron didn't say anything, and you know, you could see that it obviously had him a little upset for a second or two. And he got into the car, or CJ got into the car after we picked him up from work. And Aaron turns and goes, you know what? I'm getting the best Christmas present this year. Of course, CJ and I are like, um, okay, what? what, what? Yeah. And Aaron turns around and he goes, well, Kiara reminded me that I'm having surgery two days before Christmas and she thinks that's a bad thing. I think it's great because I'm getting the best Christmas present I'll be able to hear. Aww. How long has my baby been like this? And like, can't hear properly yet you know he's still excelling in school and doing well and you know uh, damn it I feel like a bad mom but at the same token it's one of those oh my god like did we raise this child right because he's actually you know grateful for little things Um, yeah other than that somehow I just checked my grades and I actually pulled off an A plus in my 
Stupid yeah, stupid. girl. So it's <laughs> a plus. So whoop, whoop. I'm sitting on two A's and two A pluses. I am stupidly happy with myself right now. And the, the next like six right. days of work can't go by any faster. So are they just going to give you the super degree? Th- they better. Well, it, it's it's going to be a degree with a cape on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got eight more classes, so I'm taking three classes next semester, three classes the semester after, and then I'm going to end with two classes. But that will end up finishing me for Christmas next year. So uh, let, let's see how crazy I can go with this and see if yeah. I can bring out three. Wow. Manipool watchers, if you wonder why Rachel's not going to be on the next season, there you go. <laughs> There's that. Because they are a 10 week class, an eight week class, and a six week class. So, uh, yeah, I might be biting off more than I can chew, but you know what? F it. I might as well get it done. That's a I-, I want that extra, like, $3,000. Woo. <laughs> All right. And I don't know who's left because I haven't oh. been playing very many games. Rosa. Hey. Okay. Uh, so, hey, girl. Hey what you been there. doing? Oh, I've just been messing with my computer. I bought a new monitor and watching some oh, Christmas movies. That's great. Apparently, you couldn't do a Valley Girl voice, but that was pretty good. <laughs> I try not to. Because I'm afraid I'm going to do it too well. Oh, is that how? All right, let me note this oh, down. Text his masculinity. Uh, game for DC where Raul uses his Valley Girl voice. Gotcha. Oh, shoot. Well, note it down. Okay. Um, what else? I was going to put something else here. Oh, uh, so yeah, PC Troubles. Putting in a simple hard drive, I sorted. I I didn't kill my computer. I just sorted out the uh, USB port. Good job. The bracket started touching, and I destroyed two USB ports on the front. No big deal. My board has twelve built into it. As as you do. Uh, brand new monitor. I posted it up on Slack. Uh, ultra wide, sixteen by nine. Oh. Join Ormus. Yeah. I got the box and, and it's like, holy crap, it's the size of a TV. <laughs> yeah. It's a 34-inch ultra wide. Yeah. Pretty much is a TV. Um, watched some uh, Christmas mo- movies. Uh, Die Hard, Nightmare Before Christmas, and Home Alone. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, my God. Home Alone. I think I'm still watching it with like rose tinted glasses because I still enjoy it. Uh, it's an okay movie. I mean, it's 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 a if you watched it outside of this period, it wouldn't be as good. Um, what you want to call it? So Has I anyone? About, I, I, Raul, I'm gonna stomp on you for a second. I'm gonna say something about Home Alone. You know you're having a rough day at work when you and your associate literally look at each other and go, okay, so, so Kevin McAllister, what was his father doing? Or what did his parents do to afford that house and that vacation for that many people? Right. We actually took a half hour of our time at work on the clock to figure out what Kevin McAllister's father did. Apparently, he's a prominent businessman, and mommy is a designer. Fun fact. Yeah, Very because useless knowledge. Because he had what? It was, it was just his older brother that he had, or how many siblings did he have? It, they brought the entire family to Paris. Well, no, no, no. But that was like they had two uncle, or no, they had one aunt and one uncle, didn't they? Oh, I don't even know, but. Look at the house this man lived in. Well, yeah, because they had all the nephews over. All the yeah. nieces and nephews over. But yeah, that house was massive. 
and uh, that's knowledge for the day. You're welcome. Yeah, the, the, there's a scene in there. If you've seen American Psycho with Christian Bale, mm. they 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 do a scene that's pretty much almost identical to it because in American Psycho, there's a scene where Christian Bale. It, it seems like he's talking to the he's talking to the audience. And he's talking about his morning routine, like what he does to his skin. In Home Alone, he does the exact same thing. Huh. So maybe a little hats off that uh, he's actually a psychopath? Probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else have I been doing this week? Uh, I've been playing the Zelda DLC. Have you gotten into that? CJ, not really. I've just had I've had not a lot of time, and the little time I've had to play is just not really been up there. Yeah, I uh, I did pick up Dragon Quest Heroes Two. Oh yeah, but I haven't even broken the seal on that one. Yeah, I got. I'm waiting to, until the Dragon Quest Heroes One and Two comes out on the Switch next year. So I don't know. I, I I'd still prefer it on the PlayStation Four. Because the what I've seen of the first one on the Switch, uh, it's karaoke. Uh, it's Lost Woods. Yeah, I mean, I didn't notice a lot of frame drops in Lost Woods, like some people did. So, hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a slow week. We're ramping down. Well, we ramped up because we had benchmarking, but we're starting to ramp down stuff at the school because we're gonna. Next week is our last week, and then we're off for two weeks. Oh, when Great. Will it start moving down here. Oh my god! December twenty seventh. So, gonna... well, yeah, because on December twenty twenty six is the boxing is the, day. Well, yeah, but it's the recovery yeah. from the twenty fifth, and then the twenty seventh. Everything, everyone burns Christmas. Speaking of which, I like this new character that's on the show called Fuzzy Rao. It's here for, it's here for the camera's a bit blurry. There you go. It was a bit blurry, that's all. But yeah, <laughs> December 26th can't come soon enough. I love Christmas and all, I just... No, yeah. but because Christmas lasts so long because things get started like in November, end of October. And then it lasts Chicken all the way, but because everyone's so glad that it's over that on the 26th, 27th, they just just throw away, put up lights, all that. They don't. But even then know. we've got we've got New Year's as well, which is a big shopping period as well because people will like to buy excess amounts of you know alcohol, snack food for parties. So Rachel, you have your break next week or the following week. My break starts the 21st. Well, technically it starts on the 23rd, but I'm not going to be at school after the 21st. Okay. All right. Yeah, they, they, they moved our vacation. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it, CJ. All right. Well, then let's go ahead and speaking of ramping down, let's go ahead and do that here. All right. So you can get to us by listening to us live Thursdays, 10 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific, Fridays at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash geekio show. If you want to email us, you can do so. Geekio show gmail.com, Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias are slash geekio show. Of course, voicemails 727 489 4335. That is 727 489 geek. Remember, you can support the show and everything that we do on the geekio network by going over to patreon.com. Slash Geek.io. We have a private Discord network going up over there. Got a whole bunch of new friend, uh, new things going up at the first of the year. And but, new friends. And new friends. But the ever important you can make a show with us is still there. It's still there, baby. Confirmed. Hey, Rachel. What are we doing next week? Uh, you're muted. Oh. <laughs> hey, Dale. There, were I to there we go. Wait, I, I said it. Do you, can you not hear me?
Now we can hear you. We, 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 we can now we can hear you. Do I have to like deep throat my mic for you to hear me nowadays? Yes. Um, it seems like it. I, I would totally put my Jared voice on, but I'm so tired today that that's not happening. Next week, we're going back to um, one of our favorite pastimes and doing a rant and review of, of the Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. You're be good. So, so I guess that means I need to get off my ass this weekend and like go buy tickets. Movie pass. Dot co. I don't know what the URL. Is. I would take a movie pass sponsorship. Oh, there you go. But, yeah, I would ha- be happy if movie pass would put out a freaking family style plan. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. So you got to buy one for each kid too. Yeah. Wow. We have to do that- it on some phones. Like, because... That's actually really dumb. <laughs> it works super well when it's just Rachel and I. Like, it is so simple to use when it is just one or two of us. Like, cool. but when we involve the kids is where it starts getting weird. Story of parenting? Yeah, I mean, that's true. All right, so it is time. Speaking of dumb things, this bumper. <laughs> oh. Now it's, it's time, time for the Geek Island Winter Movie Smackdown Update. It really sneaks up on you when you're not expecting it. <laughs> what, the Winter Movie Smackdown? <laughs> that bumper. Oh, man. So it's week 10. Uh, it's Star Wars week. That's all. Um, entering your second week's Raul's Disaster Artist and my just getting started, which has officially made $13 on a taco. Whoa. It, it made a lot of money for what it was, right? Yeah. So I pay too much for it. Uh, yeah, you pay too much for Disaster Artist, and I paid too much for just getting started. And thusly, nothing changed. <laughs> nothing changed. I don't uh, even think numbers changed. Ooh. Star Wars and Ferdinand are opening this weekend. Yay. Uh, huh? Talking about movies real quick. We we didn't we don't have anywhere to talk about this. Disney buying Marvel. Uh, no, no, buying Bi- buying Fox. Sorry, Fox. I was thinking Marvel because of the mutants, but yeah. So they're gonna, they're that. gonna actually be able to say mutants now. Yeah, oh, yeah. I also want to do a little celebratory. Anastasia is now a princess. <laughs> now a Disney princess, yes. But CJ yeah. pointed out, doesn't that make Deadpool a princess too? Yes. I mean, Deadpool I'm okay is a princess. The princesses. He just wants to be a pretty, pretty princess. You be nice to him. <laughs> okay. I'm, gonna tell you, okay. princess. I'm not going to tell him. Wait, is Damn are it, they Ryan buying- Reynolds is a pretty princess and you can deal with it. Do they have any of like the Fox News or Fox Sports? Because I want some of those anchors to see no, them. In- uh, just 21st Century Fox. So the entertainment wing. The entertainment wing. Damn. I wanted to just see. Um- Oh, I can guarantee if they bought Fox News, that would get shuttered real quick. Damn. Disney has not made any attempt to hide their dislike of <laughs> news. Like, so I'm not going to say why. I'm not gonna say why. Uh, I don't know what the noise was, though. That, yeah. Yeah. that just, I'm, not, uh, like, I'm not getting political or anything like that, but it has been widely like they have bashed Wait. Fox News on their um, on their investor calls and things like that. Like, been a fun week it has been all right so first play literally nothing changed <laughs> and josh jeff carry me raul <laughs> nothing is now carry's first place next week right oh yeah oh absolutely uh Car- oh, carrie gets pushed up to first place it's gonna be real hard to take her down uh she's starting kind of low so i don't know if she'll end in first place i think uh, no, I, I think right. she's guaranteed at least second i don't know about first yeah she is she is oh. the, yeah, she is either first or second like right. it depends on how much uh i don't know her I other mean, moves uh, uh, her i mean that uh, opening weekend's gonna be at least like 120 right oh yeah no like i, I said next week carries first place and she will be for quite some time until like you're looking at Black Panther, like at the first movie to possibly start taking her down. And that's only because Josh has some has a bed. Like Jeff paid like twelve dollars for Pitch Perfect three. Those things always rake in money, though. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but not a hundred thousand dollars worth. Not a hundred thousand dollars worth. No, it's like more like a hundred million. Yes. Oh, a hundred million. 
<laughs> um, I think if I might get lucky with Insidious and Den of Thieves. I can't oh. tell if I'm sarcastic or not. No, 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 no. <laughs> think about it. I might be able to get out of last place with those two movies. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I, I am anticipating last place for myself. Like, every movie that I have made has shat the bed. And I'm like, just hoping the greatest showman. Because it, it seems uh, interesting. It just doesn't seem like a circus movie. It seems like it's a genuine good it's, movie. No. It's, Do you want to know movie. what the, the whole thing with it is? It is the story behind Barnum and Bailey's Ringling Brothers Circus. The idea one man had, and it's done in the style of Moulin Rouge and Which- Chicago, and it's got fucking Hugh Jackman in it. It's got Zendaya, who... Oh, is- she's the replay lady, right? She came out with a song called Replay. I uh, was on Shake It Up. So she's off the Disney Channel. She is a gorgeous mulatto girl. She was Mary Jane. And yeah. Spider- who the the girl has a set of lungs on her and can dance and can sing and she's a triple threat. And then it's got Zac Efron in it. So I'm sorry, but he's gotten hot. Like he's gotten hot. <laughs> I'm and sorry. I he's don't believe hot. I'm admitting that openly, but Zach Efron is finally like he's grown into the man that everybody was like, he's never going to be hot. He's always going to be that dude. No, no okay. he's not in deal with it. Oh, he's grown up from the college bro, right? He, he's no longer, you know, D- Disney Channel property, and he's been able to become, you know, a real actor. I don't. Wait, Steffers, why are you saying, oh, God, CJ, why? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we both add the same title at the same time, so that's pretty Yay, good. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag CD. Yes. Sorry, CD. not sorry. Ooh, um, CD, there you go. Oh, about Fox News. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> the fact that there is so much going on with this and it is taken from a unique side of history because let's face it ringling brothers circus is no more we we all know it closed down the final show was down here in tampa three two months ago three months ago yeah well i mean this is a very like it's a florida-based show so this will be kind of but every Mm -hmm. single snippet that i have seen of this just makes me want to go see it more. But everything is literally flopped so far. Yeah, like nothing like, has made money. Literally like, everything. Thor like, constantly- has not made money. Like Thor of all things, which yeah. was a great movie. But like I mean, the Pixar movie shat the bed. It, yeah, they like Thor just got out of three hundred million dollars. Like during its What's entire it? run. Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! Coco made one hundred and fourteen million dollars. Yeah, that's oh, low yeah. for a Disney that's... Pixar movie. They make yeah. like three normally make like three hundred in the first two weeks. Like nothing is making money this this uh, winter, and that's the reason why I think that freaking uh, Carrie might just take it. Um, because like unless stuff starts picking up with our you know later winter spring stuff. Like, I, I think Bad Long has a few cheapies in here. I, I, I'm Black Panther last place for myself. Like, I, I resigned myself to the bottom of the barrel. Black Panther is going to make money, but Josh paid forty three dollars for it. Yeah, more I think yeah, that's, that that's, that's, was yeah. made for. I, I don't think it's going to make more than Star Wars. No, God, no. Because already the the hype train is running more for Infinity War than it is for Black Panther. Yeah, Black yeah. Panther yeah. is just like a half step up to Infinity War. I'm sorry, but that's how it's. Well, no, I mean that that is getting Black Panther and Cap and Bucky back into, uh, back into where they're relevant in the MCU. Well, yeah, because yeah. they've shown the teaser for Infinity War, and it already has Black Panther. Yeah, Bucky and, and Captain Cap. America's glorious beard. Yeah, so you know everything's going to turn out well in Black Panther, right? Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they there's kind of no spoiled. Story. There's no surprise in Black Panther. Um. Yeah, like I, 
Paddington might bring up some money just because, like, I paid so I little. Don't. No, please don't. Yeah. Pa- pa- no. Why? Like, uh, why only, Paddington? The only reason why is because, like I said, I paid only seven dollars for it, so that's going to net me some money. Uh, but other than that, like, I am, I am, I am fully saying that I am in last place. Like, there's, there's no way that I'm not getting out of last place. And these are the lowest numbers I think we've ever seen in a SmackDown. I mean, we're yes, halfway no, through. Into it. We're halfway through the season. Out. Yeah, we had a few low ones, but like everything is low on this one. Like, uh, Thor. It's, really just, it's been ba- It's been a bad year. I mean, you also have to realize that there's a know, lot been... of. How shall I put this? There's a lot of purse. T- strings tightening for multitudes of reasons i don't think that's it i think no i don't think that's it either um i think i think there's something like the summer wasn't like if i could see that if the summer was as low performing as it was but i think three of us at least hit 30 million like at least 20 million on that yeah there are four (laughs) movies that are sub million dollars in this uh net for us four that's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go real quick because I know this episode isn't long enough. Um, the summer movie SmackDown, yeah, Charles got 40. For, we'll, we'll, we'll round it. 40. CJ got 39. Rachel got 27. I got 23. And Raul got 15. Yes, granted, that's at the end. But the lowest grossing one uh, value-wise was Free Fire at 190. You know, 197. So nothing stuck that low. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna get to 40. Someone getting 40 mil at I, all. Carrie might. Carrie, might. Carrie nailed it for 40 for 40 dollars. Like that is, I think, a great place for Star Wars to be, to where it will not just overrun everything, but it's there's a chance like that's that is low enough to peak her like give her the spike that she needs to get in the first place like i said unfortunately like her other movies so far like she doesn't have a jumping point like josh does when black panther comes out and she's only got she's only had one movie thus far she's yes. got three to go yeah and one star wars uh okay. yeah none of them really gonna make a lot of money though so yeah but it's about keeping afloat yeah exactly uh, Maze Sorry. Runner might pop her up a little bit, especially since she only paid seven bucks for it. And the Cloverfield movie, nineteen bucks. So that's that's rough. And she's still got twenty five dollars to spend on something. Yeah. All right. All so, right. Well, <laughs> uh, we have show title candidates. Oh no, we have what happened this week on the Geek I Know. I know it's the way behind. <laughs> I don't know what happened this week. Oh, Generic Life Show breaks down the hit songs. All I the hit song, All I Want for Christmas is. Jews? Rachel broke the stream again. And how it exists. The Madden pool was on break this week. Coming coming more next week. I can't mute myself and shut my video off now? No, you cannot. It breaks yeah. the stream. No, it just... Re- that you can um, do because it rearranges the icons. But, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Um, on Liquid Handicap, CJ visited... Is that Zero World? Um, Creo. Creo. How was that? Zero. I was going to say zero. Zero world. (laughs) On the Surge's new DLC and discovers why you should fear donuts. Donuts are scary. A small screen sports show dipped into the return of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Get ramped up for the end of Mr. Robot and CJ wonders why he continues to watch The Punisher. I am punishing myself. Which you can see the video up on YouTube. Because I I I recorded that locally and I pushed that to the site, so there's none of the the stream lag that popped up. And Daryl's three minute amazing uh, new hit drama play coming soon. Oh like, my god! Daryl can do a one man audio play, and I would lo- listen to the hell out of that. Like, I would listen, Daryl, if you're listening, because I know you are. Yeah, he'll listen. He'll get this to us in like a couple of days. We need to like, uh, do it of this show. I don't care. Do it of something. Make, make read a, um, I don't know, read a children's book to us or something. Well, not- was a- okay, okay. 
he he needs to read "Go the Fuck to Sleep" in Daryl voice. Yeah, was it someone else that I'm thinking of that did that? That was Morgan Freeman. That was Morgan Freeman. <laughs> it was Daryl Shayla or Morgan Freeman. <laughs> God, oh. like like okay. Oh. You it better. I have new game. All right, we have show title candidates. Yeah, we do. Uh, who's reading them? Me, I guess. No one else is jumping in. You read them until Carrie got here. That's true. All right. Uh, you can get on over because I've d- done the proper thing and done the auto sort off. So you can head on over to geekioshow.showbot.tv. Go ahead for your, and vote for your favorite show titles. We've got a few here. We've got Turkey Tits. We've got Dash, 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 Dash. Dash 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 Gloom and Glump, Vampire Robots, We Don't Watch Movies on a Thursday, Weird Shaped Butts, The Whole Dude, I'm Sorry He Got Hot, or Sorry He's Gotten Hot, <laughs> Zero World, or Was It Daryl Shaler or Morgan Freeman? I kind of like, Was It Daryl Shaler or Morgan Freeman? <laughs> <laughs> uh, turkey, t- t- turkey Tits, it was a pre show bit. Um. <laughs> Uh, Steph, yeah. you, and anybody in the chat, you can go to geekioshow.showbot.tv to vote yourself if you want to. Uh, <laughs> now we have turkey tits, or was it Daryl Shaler or Morgan Freeman? So next one, that again. was very light. It's worth the payoff, though. And well, uh, whoever gets the four first. I like weird shaped butts too. I'll throw a vote in for that. <laughs> yeah, like anything's not going to get up to three. Um, and dash 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 I kind of, oh god, everything's climbing to two now. <laughs> I'm not trying to make Dan's job harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, I know it's not three, but I kind of like dash, 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 dash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It was a bad joke, but I could do turkey ticks, ticks, tits, call, and walk and tell Shayla and walk and free them. God, yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, that'll Do work. It. Yeah, since we have a tie and our live chat is not participating. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Uh, do we have anything planned? Oh, yeah, we have. No, we're not recording that live. Um, uh, we'll see you Sunday. Uh, yeah, yeah, Overwatch. Yeah, a generic live show and overwatching on Sunday. Is it oh, Saturday? Yeah. Sunday morning for generic live show and Sunday night for some overwatching. Overwatching. See you next time. Bye. 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 Say bye, Stream Breaker. Take it off edit mode, CJ. The breaker of stream. I'm trying to get Rachel to say bye. I said bye. Don't make me break that stream again. Stream Breaker, mother of This has babies. been a Geekio Media Network production. Copyright 2017. Josh isn't here. Nobody fucking dances. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> you see Carrie that yells at us for not dancing. Not dancing. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>